What's up, guys? It makes me vibes here. I just want to start out by saying I hope your day is going good. I hope everything has been going positive. And I hope it's been going your way. And if it hasn't, just know you have the power to change it. I want to start out by reading a quote from Napoleon Hill saying, The men of the greatest achievement are men with highly developed sex natures. Men who have learned the art of sex transmutation. What I'm talking about is, of course, semen retention, holding your seed, not releasing, not uh, watching corn, not fapping, right? I just want to just candidly talk about my experience, my story. I mean, I don't really have a, a, a long list of 10 benefits or, you know, uh, catchy pictures and things that go with the video. I just just wanted to talk candidly. It's been, today makes 38 days, 38 days since I've released it. I released last in October. So yeah, today makes 38 days. My longest streak was 60 days. And the reason I released them the 60 day mark, because it was like, I don't want to be bound to something like, you know, I want to feel like a prisoner of something or feel like I can't do it. Or if I do it, it's going to be bad. So I was like, I can do it. Like I'm, I can control myself. I can do it this one time and not feel like I've lost anything. Right. So that was the reason I, I released them, but it's day 38 and I've been feeling great. Honestly, my energy levels are through the roof. I primarily eat plant-based, so you could chuck it up to that, but just say my natural energy levels on like a seven or eight, it's been like a 12. Like some days I can't even sleep because my energy is just too high. And I don't take any supplements. I don't take any pills. I don't take any type of powders or not, like none of that. So I attribute it to, I attribute it to, to semen retention, honestly. You know, I think men have different reasons why they start. Some men start because they, they want, you know, women to see, see them in a certain way or, you know, they want X, Y, and Z. But I think for me, for me, it's more so about discipline, right? For me, I started because I wanted to discipline my mind. I had other habits that I was doing, right? You can go back and watch my, and I put the link in the description below my 30 day self, you know, development, self actualization goal, which was to cut certain habits and transform my inner being and, you know, elevate to a higher consciousness and make this pact also to Yahweh. So I did, but today is 38 days. And, you know, for me, it has been, it has been about discipline. You know, I feel I haven't really had the urge since I started to release. I had, I will say about a week, a week ago, um, I had one of the craziest dreams I feel like I've ever had. I ended up having a wet dream, which I didn't know men past the age of 18 could have, which was weird, weird for me because I woke up and I pulled the cover back. I'm sorry if it's too much detail, but I pulled the cover back and I was like, oh, okay. Because the dream just felt like super real. But no, my dreams have been very vivid and not all of them have been wet dreams, but I've been able to recall a lot of them, which is kind of weird for me. I think another, uh, I guess, positive benefit is my my reading has gotten better. I've been able to retain uh, more uh, information. Like maybe it's my attention span because I've I've I used to be at a point where I read 15 pages and like my mind would kind of like slowly. And you you guys know what I mean? Like you start a read and then like your mind goes elsewhere or you need to like take a break. No, I'm able to read 50, 60 pages now without without checking my phone without feeling like i need to be doing something else or what i'm eating for dinner later like no my mind doesn't waver and i'm able to focus and retain what i've read on the pages and that might sound like not a big deal but it's been a game changer the book i just had was 140 pages i read it in two days which is like super quick for me i was like oh okay like i was just hooked um, I attribute it to, I don't know, just holding my seat and, and having that level of focus. Like I said, it's a, it's a discipline thing for me. So just being disciplined enough to not to go to go directly against the biological need. Right. Because I know as men, we have the, 
the biological need and, and guys will always tell you that like we have the biological need to reproduce right you know that but to go against that and say like no i'm going to hold my seed i'm going to hold it for me i'm not going to release it i'm not going to fab i'm not going to watch corn i'm going to make this pack to me it's something special i think i do uh, but i will say if you do end up releasing don't beat yourself up i know that's easier said than done but you're not a failure like if you go 10 days that's 10 days that you didn't release like be proud of that like you don't you don't have to compare yourself to somebody else been doing it for two years or been doing it for you know 100 days and it and you know you you went 10 days like be proud of yourself for that you know if you want to start the journey pick it back up but be proud that you got to 10 days right i think most guys can relate to say like in this day and age there's a lot of temptation to <laughs> not just watch corn but just release like you know whether you're married or not of course for married guys this this is different so if you're married i guess you know semen retention is not something i would maybe urge or you know i guess depending on the relationship but for me men who are single you know definitely according to um, the state men who are single i would say definitely try it or even think about it even if you don't because i think it's just it's a great thing right the energy the clarity the discipline all of those things play a factor in you know holding again holding what's what's yours and not not feeling the need to i think also i noticed that i was just I was unfocused. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I know that after I release, you know, you just get kind of tired. You don't feel like doing anything. You just get super, for me, I got super relaxed. And that that relaxedness almost became like a drug. Like sometimes I would, I would get so stressed to where it was like, I know if I release, my stress levels will go down. You know what I mean? Like it got to that point. Like, it's like, okay, I'm stressed. Let me go ahead and do a quick, you know, let me release. All right. And now I'm able to like, I don't know. It's weird. I was able to like, um, manage my emotions or like control my emotions and thoughts like after I release. And that became addicting because when I would get stressed, I would turn to that. Of course I had other habits. We smoke, you know, we smoking, uh, cigarettes sometimes alcohol things like that just other habits that i turned to right that i would cope with but releasing was was a big one and i'm just glad that you know i started back and like i said it's been great i haven't had the urge to i think for me moving forward and this is just for me i think i don't i would say i don't i wouldn't i can't see myself releasing unless i'm with again a partner not necessarily uh, saying that I'm married but unless I you know am with a partner and I just feel like releasing with them I, I don't see myself personally releasing because I when I see images like that I'm not on Instagram or Twitter or anything so that's drastically has cut down now I will say if I was on Instagram or Twitter definitely Twitter or X whatever I definitely uh it definitely would be harder and I know I can name three guys right now in my life that, uh, you know, they tell me all the time or they've told me in the past about how Twitter is hard and because it's got so much, you know, uh, pornographic things on there. But yeah, I'm not on those. So I'm just on YouTube, but I do still, I do still see some things on YouTube sparingly. And I like remind myself like, okay, I kind of like scroll past it. And I'm, nothing wrong with looking at it, of course, but I know for me, I know the vision I have. I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm not doing. And so make that pact again to Yahweh. I'm like, no, I'm not going to be, whether you want to talk about fornication or not, I'm just, I'm not going to submit myself to that because I know if I start looking at that, my brain is going to, you know what I mean? I'm going to end up, I'm going to end up releasing at some point. The more I look at it, it's natural is going to happen. So I try to, or at least I do sustain from, you know, looking at too much that's going to make me, want to release um again i don't know if you started this journey but i would just encourage you just to try it 
you might notice benefits. You might not. I know some men swear by it. Some men say they've gone 100 days and nothing's happened. Nothing's changed. And that's okay, too. But I would say at least before you judge it, before you feel like it's just BS and it's just the same rhetoric that all these guys are spewing, just try it. Right? Just try it for three days. Right? Three days might not seem like a lot, but from someone who was doing it frequently, three days is, is a good achievement. So just try it and see if, if, if you notice anything or you know, any clarity or any other benefits that might have helped, right? I will say that I'm more, uh, sorry, I was looking at uh, something. I will say that I'm more um, more confident, like my social anxieties went down. Like I recently, and if you guys have been watching my vlogs, you'll see I had, uh, I met with some friends last night at a Halloween party, not Halloween, my bad, Harry Potter party and, you know, usually, when I'm in a crowd that's bigger than just like one or two, sometimes I will have some anxiety, but I didn't like, I was like talking, I was, you know, like, I don't know, it, it felt great. Like I've just been noticing that people have been smiling at me more. I've just been talking to everybody. I haven't had any type of like nervousness where it's like, oh man, like, you know, just anxious something's gonna happen. It's, it's popped up a little bit, but it's been pretty good for the most part. And, Again, I, I attribute that to same retention. You, know, right? you might think it's BS. You might think it's it's a um, it's false, but for me, it's it's the real deal. So that's all I want to say. That's enough rambling. Um, just try, it, guys, and see if what I'm saying or all the other YouTube videos of all these other guys posting these videos daily. You know, right? just see if what they're saying is BS or it's true.